Welcome to the Maritime Safety Talk channel, where we bring you the latest news and insights on maritime safety and operations. I'm your host, Captain Muhammad, and I'm excited to share my knowledge and experience with you. In this channel, we'll cover a wide range of topics related to maritime safety, from navigation and communication to emergency response and equipment maintenance. Our goal is to help you stay informed and prepared for any situation you may encounter at sea. To make sure you don't miss any of our updates, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting new content regularly, so stay tuned for more Maritime Safety Talks. Now, let's get started with you. Welcome back to our Maritime Safety Talk channel. Today we're discussing the grounding incident of the car and truck carrier Hogue Osaka, which occurred on January 3, 2015, while leaving Southampton, England. Let's dive into the key points of this incident. While rounding a buoy in the Solent, the Hogue Osaka developed a significant list, tilt, to starboard, right side. This list caused some cargo to shift and resulted in flooding. With a list exceeding 40 degrees, the ship lost steering and propulsion, drifting onto Bramble Bank and grounding. The investigation revealed that the Hogue Osaka lacked proper stability due to uneven cargo distribution. Here's a breakdown of the contributing factors. 1. Stability issues. The upper vehicle decks were full, while the lower decks were lightly loaded. The ship also had low fuel reserves stored low in the vessel. No additional ballast water, used for stability, was loaded before departure. All these factors led to a high center of gravity, making the ship more prone to tipping. 2. Cargo and planning problems. The actual cargo weight and stowage significantly differed from the final cargo tally. Ballast tank quantities were estimated on board and differed from actual levels. Cargo unit centers of gravity weren't considered in stability calculations. Most importantly, no stability calculations were performed after cargo loading was complete before the ship sailed. Safety issues and recommendations. The investigation identified a concerning practice within the car carrier industry, skipping departure stability calculations. This incident highlights the importance of proper stability assessments before any voyage. The owner and manager of Hogo Saka took steps to prevent similar incidents, and the Marine Accident Investigation Branch, MAIB, made recommendations to improve stability assessment procedures across the industry. Thankfully, all crew members were safely evacuated and there was no pollution from the accident. A major salvage operation successfully refloated the Hogue Osaka. Lessons learned. The Hogue Osaka grounding serves as a stark reminder of the importance of proper cargo distribution, ballast water management and pre-departure stability calculations. These measures are crucial for ensuring the safety of crew, cargo and the marine environment. That's all for today's discussion on the Hogosaka grounding incident. We hope you found this case study informative and valuable for your maritime safety knowledge. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on Maritime Safety Talk. Stay safe and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and don't forget subscribing to get every news and I wish you a bon voyage and safe travels. I hope you found this information helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care and have a great journey.